The election fever has gripped Madhya Pradesh. Both the Congress and the BJP have been campaigning aggressively. We have managed to get some time from Union Minister and Senior BJP Leader Jyoti Raditya Sindhya to understand what it looks like for the BJP. Uh, welcome to the print, sir. Just want to understand there is a huge anti-incumbency of almost two decades. How do you think the BJP will fare? Uh, I like the way you uh, pronounce that, a huge anti-incumbency of almost two decades. It is obvious that you have not roamed the length and breadth of Madhya Pradesh. There is no anti-incumbency in Madhya Pradesh. In fact, I would go so far as to venture that there is a pro-incumbency in Madhya Pradesh. 55 years the Congress ruled in Madhya Pradesh. What was the result? Till 2003, Madhya Pradesh was at the bottom of the statistics of every social indicator. Madhya Pradesh was at the bottom of the statistics of every infrastructure indicator. In the last 18 years of the BJP government, save the 15-month government of uh, the Congress, which again took us back into the sieve of corruption, the sieve of negativity, the BJP government has re risen Madhya Pradesh from the mires of degradation to one of the most uh, one of the highest uh, states in terms of all social indicators across the board in the country whether you look at agricultural growth whether you look at infrastructure growth whether you look at uh, uh, MMR IMR across the board and our schemes and our government have been people focused unlike the Congress that have been personality and corruption focused that been the case, sir, then why is the BJP shy of declaring Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan as a CM face? Why this collective leadership? But I, are, you, are you against the concept of collective leadership? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you because it seems like the way you pose the question that you're against the concept of collective leadership. What is leadership all about? Leadership is all about bringing everyone together, working towards a common goal. And if you look at the... Uh, uh, BJP uh, uh, assembly um, uh, strategy, the whole strategy is everyone is working together. There is no doubt about the fact that in these 18 years, if a, not a large proportion, but a humongous proportion of that credit, if it goes to anyone, it is only and only Shivraj Singh Chauhanji. Is this also part of the strategy to field the MPs because the BJP is not quite clear who the CM would be? Many were expecting that you would also be fielded. No, 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 no. no. What, Neelam, what you have to understand is, please understand the strategy. I think it's important you do the analysis uh, when we frame questions. Our strategy was very simple. You have your fortresses, continue to guard them continue to ensure the winnability there. There are many seats in which the Congress has fortresses. You've got to prepare an attack on those seats. And if you look at the first 85 seats that we've declared, which means list number one and list number two, those two lists comprise of those 85 seats. So we've taken the battle to the Congress. The seats in which the Congress has always felt that it has been supreme. It has won twice, thrice, five times, six times. That's where we have fielded the members of parliament and the union ministers. And therefore, the Congress today now is vulnerable in its areas of strength. And that gives us that propulsion to ensure that we not only win the seats that we have always maintained, but also win the seats where the Congress has been strong. And how do you see the Ladli Behna scheme of the Shivraj Singh government? Because then what is the difference between dole out that, you know, BJP and PM Modi have, you know, he has what been criticizing? Would you not like to be empowered? Definitely. For years, you have been uh, at home, not been empowered. You have two children. You need to buy things for your children. You need to take care of their health. You have members of your family that you would like to take care of. Maybe you'd like to start a small SAG. And through that SAG, empower yourself. 
but today you have no means of livelihood this will empower you to be able to start whatever you would like to in your own way and if it was not so great kindly tell me why would mr kamalnath come out with a 1500 rupees scheme so it obviously has hit the congress where it hurts and it has empowered continually empowered the bjp and please remember please remember the bjp has always been about empowerment this is not the first time that the bjp or shivraj singh ji has focused on women it has been a consistent theme throughout his tenure to prevent the cases of imr infant mortality rate bring them down started with the lardli lakshmi scheme to prevent infanticide feticide that has resulted in a lowering of the imr rate in madhya pradesh from there when girls go to school and perform extremely well they are given a scooty the third step when a girl gets married leaves her current home to enter her new home the government of madhya pradesh and shivraj singh chauhan as a chief minister is present in that wedding through the kanyadan yojana and fourth and a logical extension of that is now the lardli behna scheme you just mentioned kamal nath ji just wanted to point out that while the bjp has a collective leadership congress has you know focused entirely on mr kamal nath uh, digvijay singh is also missing from the posters that have been put up what am i to say you should ask that question to kamal nath ji but how do you see the campaign of the congress i don't i don't see the campaign of the congress i am concentrating on my party's campaign i am concentrating on the bjp's campaign this is very much a congress's attitude that you go and start clawing at the opposition rather than strengthening your own house hindi mein kahawat hai dusron ki lakeer ko chote karne ke bajaye apni lakeer ko lambi kheecho i am concentrating on making sure that we as a party kheecho a lambi lakeer as opposed to chota making the congress's lakeer chota this is a very congress attitude but are you comfortable in your new party the bjp i am a bjp worker and also don't forget neelam that uh, for me bjp has always been family has always been home don't forget my grandmother rajmata vijayaraje sindhya ji was one of the founding members of this party as a child when i was growing up i always had was surrounded by people who were from the bjp my father when he started his career in 1971 was as a member of parliament of the jansang so for me the bjp is very much a family but the congress continues to call you a betrayer that's the congress's outlook if uh, they call a war against corruption a war against betrayal of promises of the congress a betrayer let them i i hand them to that and let them be comfortable calling me that what i have what i have been uh, in my conscience and in my heart my conscience and my heart is absolutely clear in the 3 years of shivraj singh government not only has he been able to combat the issue of corona tremendously we worked very closely together whether whether it was the issue of vaccines whether it's the issue of getting supplying oxygen getting getting the c130j hercules aircraft to land in different parts of madhya pradesh to take the oxygen tankers to orissa fill them up bring them back by train all of those things or whether it is the development of madhya pradesh if you come with me on a daily or a days tour you will see the projects that have been done in the length and breadth of madhya pradesh yesterday i traveled from khajurao to satna from satna to sagar from sagar to dhar from dhar to indore from indore to bhopal and if you have traveled with me you would have seen in every single area the impact of development projects is very clear the congress government was one that would always say tijori khali hai why because they be fill, busy filling up their tijoris the bjp is one that doesn't say tijori khali hai but it says to the people of madhya pradesh tijori tumhari hai but how do you see the obc factor that you know the issue that the congress has been raising in a big way especially the caste based census you're absolutely right the congress has raised it in such a big way that when kamal nath ji was asked about akhilesh he said akhilesh bakhilesh ki baat mat karo this is the respect that the congress has towards the obc community 
Akhilesh may be a leader of a rival opposition party for me, but he's still a very respected OBC name. And if you denigrate an OBC in this manner, the OBC community will also lash back at you. I'm very confident. The Congress party's history, again, if you have done your homework and come, Neelam, has always been a party that has opposed the cause of the OBCs. They opposed the OBC commission when it was brought. They opposed the Mandal commission that was brought. And they are speaking as usual, nothing uh, surprising ab about that, in a fork tongue, as they always do. When elections come, they become uh, temple tourists, they become uh, OBC tourists, and the minute elections subside, what was it that you were talking about? I can't recall. What did I say? In uh, 2022, the Congress won the local body elections in Gwalior after almost 55 years. One of the reasons many cited was this rivalry between you and Mr. Tomar. And they said it impacted uh, the election. Do you think something, uh, something has I been only, done about that? I have only one response to that. In every election, you will see a rise and fall. There are many contributory factors to winning an election and losing an election. Responsibility, of course, is, a, is ours. No question about that. And I'm the last one in life to shirk away from any responsibility. If you're ready to face the bouquets, you must be ready to face the brickbats. Accountability comes as part of responsibility. Having said that, if the Congress is exulting in so much victory about Morena, uh, uh, Nagar Nigam and Gwalior Nagar Nigam, Please explain to me that in Gwalior Chambal in 2018, when the Congress won 26 seats out of 34, the BJP had only won 7 out of 34. In 2020, when the by-elections were held, the Congress had 28, 27 seats out of the 28 seats that went in for by-election. 27 out of 28. So you can say they had a 99% of the 28 seats. Why is it that the Congress lost 19 seats out of that 28? Let the Congress answer that. That too is the domain of the public. And as far as inter-rivalry that you call, in the BJP there is nothing called inter-rivalry. No one is a leader. No one is the one who turns an election. Everyone is a worker. And we all work together. Narain Singhji and I have had a very long relationship extending way back to when he was an MLA and I was an MP. And he's had a relationship with my father, with my grandmother. So I think let the Congress worry about their own house. But you did face some resistance from the local unit. Has it become better Not now? Not at all. I mentioned that to you. The BJP is about working in unison as uh, workers of the party. We have always done so. We will continue to do so. Thank you.